Grab some chips and try not to eat the whole can because we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, and expected true <gasps> facts about Pringles. Ooh, I want one. Number five, Pringles might have been named after a street. Yep, when Procter & Gamble, the company that makes Pringles, needed a name for their new chip, they wanted it to start with a P, like their company's name. So according to Pringle legend, they got a Cincinnati phone book and made a list of streets that started with P. Pringle Drive had a nice ring to it, so they chose the name and boom, Chipstery was made! Others think that the name might be a tribute to a man named Mark Pringle, who co-patented a potato processing method in 1937. But whatever the reason for the name, you can be sure that Pringle Drive in Cincinnati, mm, disappoints a lot of eager tourists. Number four, speaking of the name, did you know that when Pringles first hit the shelves back in 1967, they were called Pringles Newfangled Potato Chips? It's true! And what made them so new and fangled? Well, according to their ads from the early 70s, it was, quote, everything. They're fresh and unbroken. They come crackling fresh and stay that way, even after they're open. They fit in covers without squashing. But other snack companies objected to this, saying that Pringles failed to meet the definition of a potato chip. This went all the way to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, who ruled in 1975 that Pringles could only call their product a chip if they used the phrase, potato chips made from dried potatoes. And since that's a ridiculously long name, Pringles decided to refer to their potato products as crisps. And uh, this just in, the distinction between the two continues to mean nothing to chip eaters around the country. Number three, the man who was buried in a can. In 1966, Procter & Gamble had their new chips stacked and ready for production, but they needed packaging for the newfangled product. So they enlisted the help of chemist and food storage technician, Frederick J. Bauer, who had already helped design Pringles' iconic shape. He came up with the can that we all know and love today, cardboard on the outside with foil on the inside to keep the chips, er, uh, crisps, fresh. It was an ingenious design that's gone through very few changes since Baum first came up with it. And he was very proud of his invention. So proud, in fact, that sometime in the 1980s, he told his family that he wanted to be cremated and buried inside a Pringles can when he died. But when Bauer sadly passed away in 2008, his children stopped on the way to the funeral home to honor his wishes. His son Larry told Time Magazine, quote, My siblings and I briefly debated what flavor to use, but I said, look, we need to use the original. Ha <laughs> ha, what's next? We're gonna find out the guy who invented Doritos was buried with chips too? Uh, wait, what's that? He was? Oh, okay, I'll just keep my mouth shut then. <clears throat> Number two, the guy on the Pringles can has a name. Yep, the Pringles guy is one of the most recognizable brand mascots on earth. But I bet most of you didn't know his name is Julius Pringle. Yep, the mustachioed man on the can has been there since the beginning. And guess what? He may have been hiding a secret this whole time. <gasps> His mustache is shaped like a Pringle chip. And that's not the only chip hidden on the can. Nope, no, 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 not that chip. No, the, yeah, that chip. Some variations of the logo have a normal dot above the eye, but most have a dot shaped like a Pringle. What else are they hiding on that can? <gasps> oh my gosh, Illuminati confirmed, Illuminati confirmed. And finally, our number one fact about Pringles, there's over 100 different flavors worldwide. And some of them, well, they're pretty crazy. There's smoked salami, prawn cocktail, Philly cheese steak, funky mustard, bacon Caesar salad, mayo potato, seaweed, soft shell crab, cinnamon, sweet potato, blueberry hazelnut, garlic seafood, dill pickle, roast turkey, <gasps> chicken wing, beef kebab, lemon and sesame, and whatever cheese carnival, nightclub, and Grand Canyon French fry are. I dare you to try all those flavors. Not really though, those sound gross. And there they are, five crunchy munchy facts about Pringles. What are your favorite snack foods? Let us know by leaving a comment below and make sure to check out five facts about Doritos if you've still got the munchies. And remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every day. I'm your host and I just ate two full cans of sour cream and onion Pringles and I feel a food coma coming on. Ooh.